Yeah, that that's exactly why because I was I was active I was active as far as Thug Line went. I actually did a a feature on Crazy Bones Thug Line. I mean uh, Thug on the Line. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, excuse me, the Thug Mentality. Thug uh, Mentality. Double CD. Yeah. yeah. I did a I did a feature on that. I did actually did two features on that album, and um, one of them was um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the Night Riders. Oh yeah, that was we got a the, lot of questions. That was <laughs> that was the initial reason I I didn't I wasn't available for the wooed up the wooed up album. Shoot, I was with it because it was something different. I wasn't trying to all together just you know just do that, but I figured hey this it's it's another way to keep on going and to further the notches on my belt. To me, it was a great idea, you know what I'm saying? And the way uh did my costume or I, uh, the, 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 the um, creativity behind the way that I dressed myself, it was, you know, it was my own creativity. Even though he came up with the idea of the pirate outfits and stuff like that, I added my own flair to what he initially wanted us to come, come across as. You yeah, know, um, that's cool. From you, the made, name, you made it yours. From 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 the name that I that I uh, used to, you know, the the persona that I played. It was all my my doing. You know, even though he came up, well, we're going to be called this, and we're going to say we're from this place, and you know, we're going to act like this, and we're going to do this. You know that. Uh, you know, I just added my own flair to what he what he envisioned. And yes, I really took that on. And like, and when I say that, I, I kind of like, I embodied that person, that, that character. I actually started embodying that character. Like my name was Michael Knight, M-I-M-I-K-A-L-K-N-E-I-G-H-T. Just a different uh, way of spelling, you know what I'm saying? As opposed to how you normally spell Michael just giving it a different look when you look at it, but you know, it says Michael, you know, yeah. and then, um, and then, you know, just keeping in mind, okay, we calling ourselves the night riders. Hey, I jumped on the first thing that came to mind. Hey, I can, uh, I can change the name of Michael and still call myself Michael Knight, but at an AKA, which, which I call myself deadly whispers. That's my AKA. And I really, like I said, I really embodied and, and, and personified that character to the point where um, I didn't have to use the alterations to my voice. I actually, I actually inflected my voice. As you hear it, it's actually my, my normal voice. I just changed the pitches. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. I, I, like, didn't, yeah. I didn't use I didn't use any of the, the, the equipment that they had to change your voice, none of that. I you that was all natural. That was all me. Um sin is actually um silence. No, I, I take that back. He is the widow maker and, and um and crazy is silence. Yeah, crazy silence, like silent warrior, right. And then you guys had uh Larice in there. Yeah. Um now, but there there were some there were some a lot of roster changes to my knowledge uh, with yeah, the Night Riders. Night like Riders. I, yeah, I, I've heard, and and you can tell me if any of these you know ring a bell. But I've I've heard in all my interviews that there was the possibility at one point of of Soldier being in it, Jazz being in it. Uh, I heard no. uh, Felicia. No. Um, who else? Let's see who else. At Thug Queen. Yeah. The Queen. It, it actually was. Uh, it actually was. Uh, Larice. Well, Thug Queen first, and then it went from Thug Queen to Larice. Larice a actually ended up being the original, and uh, I mean, because because she, you know, she embodied something totally different and brought something wilder to Night Riders. So she actually ended up being the actual uh, the actual female for Night Riders. Larice was. Was it, was it just yeah, not like the no, right no, fit no, for Thug Boy Queen? Never, huh? Well, I was just gonna say, was it just not the right fit for Thug Queen? Was it just like not something she was uh, was, yeah, was it into? Wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't her her fit. And Soldier never. It, it wasn't never Soldier. It was always Sin Crazy. Uh, the only people that got rostered around were uh, Larice and and Thug Queen. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Um, 
Romeo Antonio, th- there was a lot of rock sound on that on that record. Did did he have input on some of those tracks as well with with all the guitars and shit like that? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, and he's a he's a he's a unique guy. I, I, I love his talents, and you know he 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 definitely brought the strings to to the Night Rider album. His yeah. creativity is off the chain. I was watching and I saw online that there's a, and it's the only video that I can find, but there's a uh, clip of the Knight Riders doing Here We Come. Um, yeah. Did, did you guys do a lot of performances or was that the only one that Knight Riders actually did? Actually, to be truthful, that was the only one we did. That was the only performance we did. And we were actually at a, a, a rap a rap summit Um um, that you see there in that footage, we, that's actually uh, located. Uh, that was actually at a, um, a a rap convention, and we were uh, we were performing there, and you know just to uh, um, be seen and you know um, to be to be heard. Actually, you know. <laughs> um, now, now was Bone or Mothug on that at all, or was it just the Night Riders? No, it was just it was just Night Thug Line and Night Riders. Oh, wow. Wow. And the only and the only people and the only people and we were the only people there representing Thug Line was Night Riders. Now backstage at that, especially in that situation where you're the only you know Thug Line Bone affiliates there at all. Um, when you guys were backstage, did people know that it was you? Like, I mean, was crazy walking around as crazy, or did you guys go right to the locker room and and no one had any idea who the Night Riders were? No, actually, Crazy Bone was was dressed as Crazy Bone, and um, the rest of us were uh, dressed in our Night Rider costumes, and we were walking around, and we were walking with him, and you know, people were looking at us, and they like, <laughs> they you know, they like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> like, who is these dudes? Who is these people with Crazy Bone? You know, they trying to figure what's going on. You getting people they they whispering. You got people taking pictures. You know, it's just a, a, a lot of different reactions. Yeah, you know, that's awesome. What what was the crowd like? I mean, the re- the reception for for that. I mean, it, it, it was it was a uh, uh, and in awe in awe because people. I, I really believe like people couldn't believe that this was they were actually seeing this before their eyes you know what i'm saying i mean yeah. we were dressed we were dressed kind of uh uh even though we had the pirate suits but there was a flair to the pirate suits we had the capes we had the you know yeah, we yeah. had the swords and we had the uh we had the, the the pirate boots with the with the with the the flaps over the knees and you know and the the ruffles the shirts with the ruffles on the sleeves and the, yes. you know it was it was really going and then we actually had the actual um mass um the um uh synthetic masks that were glued to our face and they actually moved with our face as we talked and everything wow yeah i noticed that like you weren't holding traditional microphones even you guys had like the headset microphones on yeah um yeah and and i you know i and when i watched that performance like you know crazy even all of you guys really i'm you guys had a real almost cool choreographed movement that like made you think of that pirate you know just that pirate feeling did you guys practice as the night riders or i mean did you guys yeah. just go on and do that no, we actually practiced. We actually practiced, rehearsed uh, our moves. We actually had a, uh, that was actually a dance step you were seeing in that video. If you could really see, we actually had a dance routine, you know, to that song. Yeah. yeah. Did, did you guys just do that song or did you guys do more than that song that night? We actually, we actually did a full album of 11 tracks that you can actually, <sighs> you can actually wow. um, listen to on YouTube. Just yeah. punch us up. Just punch us up, and you'll see all the tracks that we recorded. Were you guys happy about the the performance after, like backstage when you guys were talking? Were you guys good with it, or you know what was like? The yeah, feeling because after? because it, it, it was more of a it was more of a we were laughing, we were amused at it because we actually we act this was our first time actually in front of people with these with these costumes on and actually performing to the uh, doing the routine and everything. We were actually 
like trip, like laughing, like this, this is off the hook. Like, you know, you had some people, they were laughing. Some people was like, what the fuck? Some people was, you know, they was in tune with it. Like they was jamming, but they was like, what the hell? You know, we, I'm jumping around, I'm running through the crowd and I'm jumping off the stage and standing on people's tables. And, you know, they, <laughs> you know, people like, well, what, who is these dudes and what is they on? Cause it's like, it's like, you know, you, you never knew what to expect with the night Riders. I mean, it sounds like that was a good experience for you guys that you had fun. How, how come uh, there was never any more live shows? Uh, because the, the, the contracts were not, were not what they should have been you know we were we were actually um we were um given contracts to look over and uh they were not in our best interest so we we uh naturally declined and to this day i still i still i still um in some aspects i still i still represent michael knight did you what, what, had you guys signed the contracts and whatnot? I mean, regardless of what would have happened contractually, what what did you guys have envisioned to actually put out there? I mean, was it an album? Did you guys foresee multiple albums, or was it kind of like a yeah. one shot thing? Well, no, okay, we so actually, I, I actually, from my standpoint, um, I actually saw us doing more albums. You know, doing more performances, doing more recording. Uh, doing more appearances because it was something different. You know, it was uncanny. You know, it was something that was, um, at that time, it wasn't unheard of. Yeah, you had the insane clown posse, but they weren't as, as we were, you know, with the, yeah, with the, uh, the, whole, the whole outfits and, you know, costumes and everything. We were like, we had, if there was a flair with the Night Riders, you know what I'm saying? Even though we were from the underland and we were from the unknown, we only appeared at nighttime. You know, we were we had a certain flair and a certain uh, should you say, je ne sais quoi about ourselves. Even though we were pirates, I wasn't a night rider originally. The original night riders, I think it was going to be it was supposed to be crazy, Soldier Boy, Jazz, and I think Mohawk. I was the original Night Rider. Oh, shit. Um, and I think uh, Soldier Boy didn't want to do it. Soldier Boy, I don't know. I don't want to speculate, but somehow he's not in the picture of the Night Riders. Um, and I think Jazz, I think Jazz dropped out. She didn't, uh, yep, I think she dropped out. When I came in, it was... Me, Crazy, Release. It was me, Crazy, Felicia, The Queen, and Mohart. No, The Queen and Felicia turned into me, Crazy Bone, Larice, and Mohart. So, Night Riders was a bunch of people. It always was Crazy and Mohart from the start. But in between that, it, it changed. It was Jazz at one point, it was The Queen at one point, it was... Alicia at one point it was Soldier Boy and but the song that's out like on the internet and stuff, those are all the songs that I when I was in there. Recorded a lot of songs. We recorded a lot of songs before I got out of it. So are there a lot of Night Rider songs? Uh you were breaking up just a little before you were in there that also got recorded, like pre sin being um not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. I don't think there were a lot of recordings before gotcha. I became a member. Yeah, I don't think it was a whole lot. He was just, he was just like get, trying to, you know, get it together. And once he, once he was comfortable with a team that he was, he can put faith in. That's when a lot of the re, the recording that you're hearing now coming from Night Riders, that's the, when I got there. Like 80% of, all of those songs, matter of what, fact, what was your initial album, reaction? When you broke up, can you say I, that again? I, I think, the phone, I, I was going to say, I think the phone, we, we got a big delay, so I think, uh, 
what I was saying was, um, what what was your initial reaction when crazy was it? It's in the voice effects. I mean, was was that all Crazy's idea? Did you guys come up with that together? Like, what was your? Hey, this is the next thing that we're gonna do. Um, yeah, that was that was most that was mostly his idea. I mean, I didn't really like the idea because it. Um, I, li- I just didn't like how it sounded. Uh, I mean, I, I I did it on a couple songs, but then I start you know contort my own voice and change my own voice and just use my own voice better. I just couldn't, um, I don't know, it was funny, like, it was funny to record it, like, it, it, with that voice, and I don't know, he could do it good. He was good at it, like, but I couldn't, um, it just didn't sound right when I was doing it. It was sounding, it just didn't sound right. It was too chip monkey. It was too, like, I didn't like it. I just didn't like how it sounded. It, it, it um, so uh, I started just trying to use my own voice, but change it, you know, sound a little raspier, a little grindier, or whatever, with my own voice. That was made. That was mostly his idea: the makeup, the mask, the costumes. That was, mo- that was mostly his idea. I was asking if there was ever plans for a Night Rider video, and if so, what song was it gonna be? We actually, we didn't get that far. We didn't get that far as to um, planning out a video uh, because I left, like, way early, way before. I, we did, like, one showcase where we performed. Uh, I think it was down in Florida somewhere, down in Miami. There was this huge um, convention, and we performed, and um, and that was it. it it, um, Night Rider, that was another Shocker album that I was surprised that was released <laughs> because I thought it was, you know, a lot of these albums, I thought they were scrapped. Like, okay, forget it. You know, we're not going to do it, but I guess that's not the case. They just put them out, you know, anyway, you know, which is cool or whatever, whatever, you know, whatever it is. But, um, and again, I, I mean, I didn't have the right none of that material either. Did you at least get a copy? Like, did somebody at least send you a copy? Like, here you go, Sin. Thanks for your work. No, because, I mean, because it, it didn't go, I, I, it didn't even go to a point of being pressed up and artwork and, in, you know, CD form. You know, this stuff was, was just still on. Back then, we had reels. We had the big, giant tape. Um you know, reels, um, you know, in the studio. You know, that stuff, it wasn't even mastered when I left. Yeah. So, wow. It was incomplete. It was it was incomplete. Um, uh, same with um, some of the Still Water um, uh, songs. It was incomplete. It was, you know, a lot of that stuff had to be mixed and mastered. They stopped everything because uh, when he passed, it seemed like the album stopped, and then I couldn't. I never understood that. I never understood. Okay, so what? I mean, he can't do a video, but I mean, we can still do something. Like, still put the album. Oh, yeah. I didn't understand why they wanted me. Why they wanted me to record a solo album? Like, you know, we're gonna redo the whole thing back to the drawing board kind of uh, energy. Did, did you guys ever talk about like what a music video would have looked like? Because I think that would have been really cool. Yeah, and I I still think about that to this day. I I actually wanted to do a song as Michael, a a solo song as Michael Knight, um, and uh, and and you know uh, release it. Um, But yeah, actually, um, I I I I would have loved to you know to actually continue on and 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 have done something you know um, uh, musically as uh, the Knight Riders. Beyond the harmony for the fans we celebrate. 